Hey guys, it's Colleen from Life on Kata Ross Creek and today I wanted to share with you how I am creating this gallery wall in our TV room with prints that I've gotten off of Etsy. Um, all I did was I simply searched vintage gallery wall print set um, and I came up with this one. Um, let me see if I open it a little bit. This is actually the second one that I'm getting or that I purchased. Um, I have another one very similar, very same muted colors. I love the vintage vibe. Uh, you just go ahead, you uh, add it to your cart, you purchase it, it's a digital download, and it looks like this once you download it. And then for this particular set, there's, each set is a little bit different the way you download and the way you, um, you open it up. But this one, you just simply click on a picture. I love this one. And you just download whatever size you want. If you want all the sizes, you download all of them. I don't foresee myself ever using the 24 by 36 or maybe these two, but you can download them. And then if you wanna put this one in your kitchen and this one in your living room in an eight by 10, and then um, your bedroom in an 11 by 14s, you can do all of those sizes. So I went ahead and I downloaded the sizes that I want for this particular gallery wall. And then I'm gonna have them printed at Staples and at the Staples website here, you go to products and then it's printing. And then you wanna to go to document printing, believe it or not. So this is for smaller prints. Um, I'm doing the eight by 10s and 11 by 14s. Um, and with the documents, they need to be in a JPEG. So you're gonna just, I wanna do, uh, let's see document printing, professional print. And then you just hit start project. If you want something larger, you're gonna have to do like a poster size. Um, I have not tried Walgreens. I haven't tried any of the other ones that some suggest. Um, I just went to Staples because I was happy, I was going in that direction. So I'm gonna go to my computer. I'm gonna find which one I want. Let's just say I wanna do this one, which is an eight by 10. And again, you wanna make sure it's a JPEG because they're gonna to have to do a little bit of resizing when they print them. And if, they, if it's a JPEG, they can play around with it just a little bit. So you upload the file and hit continue. And then this is where you're gonna choose your size. So what I'm gonna do, this one is gonna be an eight by 10. So you're gonna choose the portrait landscape, the orientation, and then the size you want. So this one is eight by 10, but I'm gonna choose eight and a half by 11. Next. You're gonna choose premium and specialty paper, and you want the one that says high gloss cover eight point. And then you want color ink, unless you wanna do something black and white. And then in the special instructions, you're gonna type, let's see. Please print an eight by 10. You can put your phone number in there too in case they have any questions, but you have to put that at the end when you check out anyway. So, it's gonna ask you where you wanna have it sent. I'm gonna have it sent to our Saratoga store. It's free pickup. It's $1.13. So I'm just gonna add that to my cart. So the original gallery wall that I purchased was $8.30 some cents, I think like less than $9. And then I had the first set printed at Staples for $11. So it literally cost me 20 bucks ish for all of the prints that I had done. And then I put them in through some thrift store frames, which I'll show you. I had to paint a few to get all the colors coordinated, but I just used simple craft paint. So this whole project probably cost me less than $40 to do this gallery wall. So oops, let's get rid of this. So usually it comes should come right back to what you've already chosen. I can show you 
um, all the pieces that I'm putting together. And the nice thing is when you do the gallery wall, let me click back here for a second, it actually shows you exactly what sizes you need. Um, actually, this particular set doesn't, but the other set that I got, it actually shows you what size you want to get each one of these in. And then if you want to just do a smaller gallery wall, you have smaller frames, you can actually just scale down one size. Uh, size each to make it the the shape that you want but you know you can do these in any in any size if you have something where you're doing a small wall you can do five by sevens by eight by tens and just that would still look really cute all right this is still processing so here's my here's what I'm getting uh, I got this really cute um, kitchen for the kitchen with the pots and the and the towel um, that's just an, an 8 by 10 that I did and it's a dollar 13 so you put that in a cute little thrift thrifted frame or even a, a nice frame from Hobby Lobby or Marshall's Target Walmart anywhere and it would be so cute on your kitchen counter and then I got this is from the first gallery wall I got it's like a, a little street scene and then this matches these, which actually looked really pretty. And then here's one of the ones of the new one. That's a 12 by 18. I gave specific instructions to print that in um, 11 by 17. As long as it's a JPEG again, they can, they can alter that for you. And then this cute little um, countryside here. And then the one that I just added. So all you do is you Make sure you want to give any special instructions, and then um, and then you check out, and they print them, and I will share with you what the prints look when I pick them up.